today we will analyze the divine image the last poem of this series of poems of William Blake an English poet painter and printmaker of uh, later 18th or early 19th century the poem the divine image is from his book songs of innocence 1789 not to be confused of uh, uh, a divine image a poem in songs of experience 1794 in this poem, Blake pictures his view of an ideal world uh, where for traditionally Christian virtues, uh, mercy, pity, peace and love are found in human's heart and stands for the God's comfort and support. The title of the poem refers to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let's make man in our image. So guys, the divine image in Songs of Innocence is different from our divine image in Songs of Experience. It's about qualities of God, mercy, pity, peace and love. So let's start our poem. To mercy, pity, peace and love, all pray in their distress, and to these virtues of delight, return their thankfulness. For mercy, pity, peace, and love is God our Father dear. And mercy, pity, peace, and love is man his child and care. For mercy has a human heart, pity a human face, and love the human form divine, and peace the human dress. The every man of every clime that prays in his distress, prays to the human form divine love mercy pity peace and all must love the human form in heaven turk or jew where mercy love and pity dwell their god is dwelling too so friends starting from the first stanza to mercy pity peace and love hum dardi rehm aman aur muhabbat so these figures of mercy pity peace and love are presented by Blake as the four virtues which are objects of uh, prayer in moments of distress. Objects of prayer, as he says uh, in the next line, all pray in their distress. Sab in ke liye dua karte hain jab wo ya dard mein hote hain. Me log aziyat mein mercy, pity, peace mangte hain. God se dua karte hain. And to all these virtues of delight, return their thankfulness. Or in virtues, in achhi khubiyon, in habits ke mil jane par logo ki khushi jo hai lot aati hai. Thankfulness lot aati hai, usme izaf ho jata hai. So in the first stanza, poet William Blake says that every living soul who is in trouble prays to mercy, pity, peace and love. And these virtues being source of joy make the people thankful to these virtues or thankful to God. In second stanza, for mercy, pity, peace and love is God, our Father dear. Yahan par Blake ne God ke liye Father dear word use ki hai. Iska matlab hai ke God hamara sarprast aur hum, we are his children. Hum uske bachche hai. Wo khalik hai aur hum makhluk hai. And mercy, pity, peace and love is man, his child and care. It means mercy, pity, Peace and love are real essence of God. Ye khuda ki sifat hai. Khuda sifat hai and man is child of God. Who also under the care and protection of God possesses these virtues. Yani ke insaan jo khuda ke zere sarprasti hai, wo bhi ni sifat ka hamil hai. Yehi khuda sifat hai aur insaan ki bhi jai sifat hai. Next stanza mein for mercy has a human heart. Ham dardi ek insani dil rakhti hai. Pity a human face. Or rehem ek insani chehra. And love the human form divine. Or mohabbat insan ki khudai shakal hai. And peace the human dress. Or aman insani libas. The four virtues are depicted by the poet 
as essential not only in God but also in man as mercy is found in the human heart and pity in the human face similarly abstract qualities like peace and love exist in the human form then every man of every clime phir har ek insaan har jagah se taluq rakhne wala clime means any particular place or a specific place that prays in his distress jo apni pareshani mein dua mangta hai prays to the human form divine इंसान की खुदाई या अलहमी सूरत से दुआ करता है लव मोहब्बत मर्सी हमदर्दी पीठी रहम एंड पीस अमन इट्स मीन्स हुवर फ्राम एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड प्रेस टू गॉड इनफैक्ट प्रेस दिस गॉडली एट्रीब्यूट्स इन मैन मीन्स वो इंसान के अंदर मौजूद खुदाई सिफात से दुआ करता है इन लास्ट टर्म्स ऑफ पॉइंट एज and all must love the human form aur sabko lazman insani surat se mohabbat karni chahiye in heathen turk aur jew heathen mean butprast butprast turk aur yahudi mein where mercy love and pity dwell jahan hamdardi mohabbat aur rehm ho ya rehm hai their god is dwelling too wahan khuda bhi maujood hota hai dwell means a shelter in which someone lives uh, so is tanza mein point keh raha hai ki jahan mohabbat aur mercy and pity and peace ye sab cheeze jahan par hain maujood ho wahan par khuda bhi maujood hota hai everybody even he or she is heathen turk or jew must love human form as human body is divine insani jism hi hamdardi rehm अमन और मोहब्बत की पनाह गाह है और यही खुदा का आशियाना भी है सो so फ्रेंड्स ये जो चार नेकियां ये चार खूबियां जिनका जिक्र किया गया है इस पोइम में कि जो खुदाई सिफात हैं ऑल दिस फोर वर्चूज आर रिगार्डेड एज इन बोर्न करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ह्यूम बाय ब्लेक सो गाइस इसी के साथ विलियम ब्लेक की पोइम्स का ये जो सिलसिला हमने शुरू किया था अपने इख्ताम को पहुंचा सो स्टे ट्यून्ड स्टे अलर्ट सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद न्यू कंटेंट टेक केयर बाय बाय अल्लाह हाफिज़